Welcome back to another NBA recap from a loaded Saturday slate. It was phenomenal, especially these games on ABC. Jalen Brunson, he showed off and he showed out with 32 points as the Knicks get their sixth straight win against a Miami team that eliminated them last year. And in this game, the Heat are handed their sixth straight loss and it's a fully healthy Heat team. They have Terry Rozier, but despite all of this, the Knicks are still fifth in the odds to win the Eastern Conference below a team like the Miami Heat that they just beat beat on their home court today. Now for the other New York team, Brooklyn, they got a win. They snapped a three game losing streak and one of the adjustments was putting Cam Thomas in the starting lineup. It was because Cam Johnson was out, but this could be a thing we see moving forward because he had 37 points and sparked them. They always play better when he's in the lineup. Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers dismantled the Celtics on their home floor in the second end of a back to back. This team is just so, so good right now playing at such a high level and they beat the Celtics right now as far as odds go. They are second in the odds to win the Western Conference behind the reigning champs, the Denver Nuggets. But this team, their finals contenders, no doubt. Brandon Miller, he's coming into his own, and he had this massive poster on rookie from last year, Walker Kessler, a defensive stud at that too. And this angle is just so satisfying and so breathtaking to see Brandon Miller getting up, cocking it all the way back and slamming on Kessler in the Hornets game. Victor Wembanyama pulled out a sham god move so the number one and two overall picks are showing out today he should not be this good this early as he is going to be so so good for so long the bucks they dismantled the pelicans on their home floor tonight and their next game on monday against the denver nuggets is when doc rivers is going to be joining the team taking over head coaching duties luka Doncic and the mavs lost but after putting up 73 points he has a 28 point triple double with 17 assists luka Doncic just playing unbelievable basketball. The Warriors and the Lakers, even though they're the 9 and 12 seeds respectively, they put together possibly the best game of the NBA season. It was the nightcap on ABC. Steph Curry hit a go-ahead in double overtime, but then LeBron got to the line and he tied the game up. Then he got the go-ahead and game-winning free throw. So LeBron had 36 points and 20 rebounds. Steph Curry had 46 points a season high, but after the game, he was not happy you could see he's looking down he's ripping his jersey in half and honestly I don't know if anyone else noticed this while watching it but even when he had that go ahead three there were certain moments in overtime and late in the games where his body language wasn't great he still looked unhappy at points there's been rumors that he's been frustrated with how the Warriors season has gone and now they're the 12 seed and they lose a game in double OT so his frustrations are showing we'll see what happens out of that the Nuggets they beat the Philadelphia 76ers but it was a Sixers team without Tobias Harris, Tyrese Maxey, and the big one, Joel Embiid. And this is very interesting because it was announced by Woj just a little bit before tip that Embiid would be out. Michael Malone says he anticipates the league will look into and invest Embiid not playing to investigate Embiid not playing tonight because he wasn't even on the injury report then. He was listed out, so the league will do their due diligence because that's frowned upon. And earlier in the day, guys like Kendrick Perkins on ESPN in the pregame show were talking about how Embiid hasn't played in Denver since 2019 and he's been ducking the smoke of Jokic and that trend has continued and now this year Embiid has only played in three games on the road versus teams over 500. One of them was against a rookie in Chet Holmgren, one of them was in the season opener and one was against Indiana, a bad defensive team earlier this week so he has been ducking a lot of those opponents and not necessarily saying that he's making it or he's faking an injury as Richard Jefferson said. He just said, though, you have to start noticing the pattern of behavior here. So not to accuse Embiid of, of anything because he has been banged up, but the pattern is definitely something that's going to get a lot of pushback on social media and online, especially in the game against the last couple MVPs in Nicole Jokic and Joel Embiid. Subscribe if you like these videos. That's what went on today.